What's going on everybody? It's your boy the Uncrowned Otaku. Latest chapter of Black Clover came out a couple days ago and we getting back to the good part. It's not good yet and I know I've been slipping on the videos but I couldn't find the energy to talk about the, the rest of the volcano because it was kind of whack to me. To be real with you, like what really happened? He learned how to channel some of his power, that was about it. Nothing else there. But now we're finally getting into the Royal Knight team battles. And Aster's teamed up with Plant Girl and Shark Mouth. I think his name was Vax or Zax or something. I'll go double check it later. Actually, y'all can help me out. Just what's his name in the comments. But I call him Shark Mouth and I'm going to call Home Girl Plant Girl. So he gets teamed up with them. And they're like, yo, nope, this is your team. And first of all, Shark Mouth disrespects the, the, the Sorcery Emperor. He's like, all of y'all look up to him. I don't look up to him. Don't instill your values on me because I ain't with it. And he already handled a vice captain. Nobody knows he handled him yet. But even more importantly, the Sorcery Emperor seems to not have a problem with the way he's treating him. Which, that's kind of a testament to his power right there. Like, Sorcery Emperor's cool with him. Okay, he must be super duper strong. How come we haven't really heard anything else about him? Well, they explain. This dude is also, I believe they said a vice captain, but he's been like, long gone into the front lines of, of where war was happening. So nobody's really seen his powers. Nobody knows why his attitudes changed. Nobody knows what happened out there. So when they get into the battlefield, they're like, yo, you got to work as a team, protect your crystal. Y'all should learn each other's power. Shark Mop said that, like, what's your power first? Plant Girl lets her know she's support. And she actually puts Aster on blast. She's like, yeah, and he has magic power that negates magic. That's his power. She doesn't say, like, he doesn't have any magic. She doesn't say anything about his sword. She just says, like, he can negate magic. So I was kind of like, okay, she, she she sprinkled a little bit on him. She ain't, she ain't giving him the full sword. She just sprinkled a little bit on him. So Shark Mouth still thinks Aster might be able to use magic, just like a negation type of magic. So meanwhile, the team they're up against, they are already legit. They were like, yo... Let's all, this is my power, this is my power, this is my power, great. Let's form this and let's go. Voltron, battle. No, but seriously, one dude, I don't know what his power was, but I think he made like rock type binoculars and he could like scope in and find this opponent. He was like, yo, 260 degrees southwest, fire. And the other dude was like, stone crossbow. And the other home was like, fire javelins. And they made artillery. And they're firing from a, from way off. They're about to crack Aster's team's crystal and knock them out the Royal Team Eliminations. It's not looking good. And while Aster's like, oh no, we gotta do something. Plant Girl's like, she's wrapping her plants around the crystal trying to get it to mend up. Shark Mouth is chilling on the ground like he don't even care. Granted, he probably don't care. I don't know why he's even in this elimination battle. Why he's even trying to be in the Royal 19. I think the Sorcery Emperor probably forced him. But I do want to see what Yuck Mouth's power is because there's no doubt... He is strong. He handled a vice captain that was seemingly pretty powerful and that other people did respect. While I don't like Shark Mouth's attitude, I can respect his values and what he seems to be going for. He's in a way similar to Aster. Like, I don't care where you were born or how high up you are in your lineage. I don't give a, I don't give a crap about all that royal stuff. If you don't got the power to back it up, don't come at me sideways. Don't dare disrespect me if you don't got the power to back it up. It, that's just the attitude of a man right there. And I can respect that 100%. Not necessarily his attitude because he's just chilling, letting his team go down in flames. But the fact that he ain't taking no BS from somebody that's not stronger than him, that's something I can get behind. Like, yo, yeah, all he wants is if you're going to talk smack, have your power, then he'll recognize you. Granted, the Sorcery Emperor will probably handle him. Sorcery Emperor is probably just too busy to handle him right now. He's just letting, letting Shark Mouth do his own thing. What do y'all think? What's Shark Mouth's power? How's this whole royal team thing gonna play out? Comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all that social media jazz. Just like this banger beat in the background, brought to you by the guys over at Night Shift. My videos, straight up fire. Just like that artillery can, firing them heat javelins.